Well, well, thanks for inviting Combat TV along for uh, a chat at uh, a new gym, almost a year old. Almost a year old, Tony. It's a pleasure. Thank you for being here. And not far away from where I first met you, around the corner at Sandringham. Yeah, just, just behind there, that uh, five, ten minute walk from here. That's where the old Belmore uh, Liga at uh, Moore Kendrick Street and Telford Avenue. Yeah. And in, in the meantime, you've been in different locations, but uh, good to be back here. You get meet up with any of the old students? Definitely. I mean, it's, uh, this is where it all uh, started. And yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm very uh, lucky and fortunate to have this location, uh, which is only about five minutes away from my house. So uh, yeah. yeah. And you told me before that um, you're not just concentrating on fighters, this is a community thing that you're doing and you spend a lot of time with children. Yes, yeah, my, my kids' classes, I have about a hundred kids in my, my class. Uh, at, uh, you know, Monday to Saturday, uh, really enjoying that. And uh, that, that's, that's our main focus at the moment. Uh, the other focus is, uh, for me, is we start coaching and, and, and training coaches. Uh, we, we still have fighters, of course. Uh, I get asked all the time, uh, but I, I make it very tough for them because uh, you know, uh, because you know the, 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 the time we have to put in for the fighters, uh, we have to put it at a different time, and um, and everybody know that we're good at training fighters, but I enjoy training the kids more. You know, so. Uh, tell us a little bit about what age the, you, that you invite kids along here, what, what age do they start off at? Oh, we, we have kids as young as four years old, uh, up to, to 16 and 17 years old. Uh, but uh, they're a little bit more difficult to, to, to teach, but you know, after a, a longer period of time they get better and better and the parents are very happy. Yeah, I, I bet they are because you not only teach them self-discipline and how to protect themselves, you also run life co uh, coaching seminars as well. We, we, we have a workshop for the kids once a month, you know, teaching them how to cook, <laughs> how to clean up at home, just to help out the parents, that's the whole idea. Uh, but we do all... Make your mums happy anyway. Yes, of course, yeah. Uh, and uh, we sort of a lot of sort of blackmail them that they have to clean up and, and brush your teeth and that otherwise you know you're not going to be on a special class. <laughs> the kids love that, eh? yeah, yeah. Parents love that. You, you find you've got um, some of the older fighters, their kids are coming along? I have one guy that I've trained him. I didn't train his kids but I trained his grandkids, so I've already trained three, like three generations. Of <laughs> so when, when, you, when you come across that, it's time to start teaching coaches to... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's one thing you've always been good at, is noticing and nurturing people with the talent. You don't wait until a big, tough guy comes in, uh, you nurture them from before that. If the, if the, I think it, the, the number one key is got to have the passion, you know, to do it. I mean, I know a lot, but I don't know everything, and and, and I know the sports has involved. So I'm hiring guys to teach the kids on jiu to wrestling. Uh, even though I, I, I take most of the classes in boxing, kickboxing, I have people helping me as well. So um, I'm looking for for kicking specialists that will come in and teach the kids more, which things that I can no longer do physically. So, um, but I do that all because I because of the passion, you know. I mean, you, you know, like I said, you don't have to know everything. You just need to have the passion, and you learn along the way. That was always my theory. So. Um, if you're waiting for the top strong, most talented guys like Ray Seff and Israel and Sanya, you're going to wait for a long time. <laughs> you know, the, the whole idea is to make ordinary kids to become somebody. 
you know. Uh, they may not reach the star, but they'll hit the moon. You know? Lolo, you're one of the biggest promoters in any of the fight sports in New Zealand. Um, are you going to get back to promoting at all? I, 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 was, I wasn't a big promoter, but I was a busy promoter. Uh, and, and the reason for, for that, because I, I never was a promoter, I was just a trainer who, who tried to promote. So, so my, my young fighters get regular fights uh, back in the days because uh, not many people promote fights. I think it was only Steve and Philip Lamb and a couple other promoters. Uh, but I, I had about over 40 fighters, so I need to, to promote constantly. Otherwise, they're not going to sit around with no fights. Uh, if the number of, of, of fighters uh, get bigger and, and more, uh, of course they need to, to have fights. So you, you may see me start running some, some shows again, Tony. Yeah. I think you might have been one of the first, if you weren't the first, you are very much one of them, who coordinated the, uh, or um, had boxers on the kickboxing show. It, it was a big no-no back in those days. Yes, I think it's still hard to do, do that even today. But uh, again, we had guys that want to fight boxing and some want to fight kickboxing. And, and of course, we, we uh, you know, we, we, we try and accommodate for, for everyone. And, and now, with MMA as well, we, we have a wrestlers and a jiu-jitsu coach here too. So, um, yeah, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. But uh, uh, like I said, Tony, uh, I, I just try to get uh, everyone busy. Uh, I knew nothing about promoting. In fact, I didn't make much money, you know, at the time. But uh, we were... You know, as we promoting fighters, and then they start winning national title, and then start uh, South Pacific. Then we start bringing people from Europe and overseas, and you know, and in Asia. So, um, and all all because uh, because of the fighters. You know, they need to get the right fight, need the experience. And and I think we were lucky. We were lucky. The, as well as, as the Liga fighters who, who are the Sifu Philip Lem, because the, the depth of talent in New Zealand is, is so much. But our guys were lucky enough to get the fights because the coaches promote them fights so they can get the exposure and, and fight overseas. But uh, yeah, we, we, New Zealand always have the, the great pool of talent anyway. Promoters are in it to make money, but you were in it for the benefit of your fighters. Can you, can you just name off the top of your head some of the big names that you bought from overseas? Andre Minard would be the one that sticks out. Uh, but you know, we brought guys from all over the place, from, from Japan, um, you know, uh, Canada, UK, USA, you know. I just look at the, at, at the rating and I see some of these guys and follow it and then uh, we brought them here. And uh, nowadays everything's a lot easier, so you just look up the YouTube. But there was no YouTube back then. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, we don't seem to have the same tour big tournaments like when you were running big tournaments and Philip was running big tournaments with international stars coming. How, how do you think the the level um, fighting gone, you know, like over the, the years. Yeah, I, 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 uh, to be honest, Tony, Tony if, if you if you mean the New Zealand standard, I think we've we've always had the, the standard. Yeah. We just never had a chance, and and uh, uh, like I said before, I, I never was a promoter. I, I, I was a, a trainer who try and, and get as much experience for my fighters so I was bringing you know people that I could bring to fight uh, Ray Sefo, Jason Sadi, Jason Vimoa, Ronnie, all those guys and in most cases I didn't make any money uh, yeah. uh, mo most cases didn't mean but they were getting the fight the right fight they were, yeah they were, they were getting the right fight and um, you know and 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 
they were lucky that they were with me. They were so many other good fighters who never had a chance for that exposure, you know. So, but now with the social media and YouTube, you can you can sell yourself. You can get people attention. You can get promoters' attention overseas. Um, and you know some of the fights get you know get opportunity to the fight. Uh, and uh, and of course. Uh, with the Israel Adesanya's success and some of the CKB boys, attract a lot of uh, promoters overseas to have a look at the New Zealand fighters. So, but you know, I think the, the last 20 years, the, the talent and, and was always here. Yeah, yeah. We just didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when, when I was talking about world title fight for Ray back in, in them days, people was like, you guys, you know, world title, you know? From Little New Zealand, and he wins not just only not only he win the world title the fight easy. Some of our guys, say, hey, I can do that too. So they start winning, you know, yeah. that the self belief. Yes, yeah. I mean, Jason said he even commented on that. He's had some really tough fights here uh, locally, and and it's all on the combat video. But you know, he gets to fight the likes of. Um, Ivan Hippolyte and that and, and, and beat them and, and beat some of the top Australian and um, uh, US and Canadian, you know, champion you get to beat them, you know. Um, but, you know, he was having a, a tough local fight here. Uh, and even, even Ray Seff, I mean, look, it's fight with Riwa Terangi, you know, it was, it was you know, it, it was a tough fight and um, he fight with, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Sutton, you know, there was a uh, Brooks, uh, you know, fight. Yeah. There, there was uh, yeah, there, there was a tough fight, but he, you know, those guys went on to to, to beat, you know, world class fighters a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. And and just to show that, you know, we do have the talent here. We do have the, the you know, yeah. the quality of coaches. You know, yeah. we, we have everything. Uh, those guys uh, just didn't have the opportunity to, you know, they, and, and some of the BLG guys were lucky because they were, me, and me, I went out of my way to, you know, yeah. and, and uh, League Our Boys with uh, Sifu Philip Lem, yeah. bringing guys for 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 Chopper and, and, and Chozo and all those guys, you know. And, I remember, but we were doing that to give our guys more an opportunities, you know, rather than looking at the career, career as a promoter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, no, I don't actually. <laughs> I, I don't even. I don't even know how many champions I got. I, uh, some of the guys that they're following here, some are not here. Uh, it's not that important for me to, to count. Uh, when I, when somebody, oh, I, I want to fight for title, and, and then now goal is to help them. But uh, to honest, honestly, down here, I don't. I don't know, uh, and I don't really care. You know. <laughs> well. It's Easter Monday, and uh, most people are having a holiday, but this place is really filled up. Well, it's, it's, uh, I think Easter Monday, there was no training throughout the weekend, and I thought, oh, let's train on uh, Monday, 10 o'clock. They were sick of sitting at home, that's why everybody here. But we got some of the boys from the other Liga branch coming to do some sparring also. So, yeah. Hey, it's all right if we just have a look at you doing some work. Go for it, go for it, Tony. Hey, thank, thanks once again, Paul, and um, congratulations on the new premises. And, yeah, I look forward to working with you at the flights again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. Liam. You go, I'll get your big fella with them manager if you want to get the box. Uh, and, I'll get, and I'll get Jerome to do this, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. Nice, good, good work, good work. Spa! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Eli, you and Rohan. Time, have a, have a break. When you up close, you kick to the head, but don't. Now I know why you kicked the body. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Filipino and his son. They're <laughs> dead each other. <laughs> that was a... There you go. That was a... That was one of those hooks, eh? <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. 
<laughs> Don't pause, Billy. You know he's not going to stop punching. There you go, nice. Finish with a kick too, Jerome. Make sure you check your distance with this guy. He's got a lot of arms. When you, when you go for the low kick, uh, Billy, don't go for the joint. Just go for the, for the calf to put him more balance, you know, to put him more balance. Just snap it hard. It's not a, not a power kick, but just put him more balance, okay? Face. Don't over kick. Uh, that's it. Keep mix, mix it up. Keep your opponent gassing all the time. Yeah. Don't know, that's good, but don't know, don't get too greedy with the kicking or don't get too greedy to punches, you know? When you, when you land a few, few uh, low kick and body kick, pop, 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 body shot, you know? Mix it up there. Yeah, you know, when, when they get attention, then you start throwing the kick. Otherwise, you're going to get too one dimension, okay? So, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, so, hope to see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs> Man, rum and coke must be good for you, eh? Sorry? Rum and coke must oh. be good for you, man. What's up, you me, brother? Eh? No, sorry, Lola. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, no, it's been a, it's been a wonderful uh, experience, Tony, and... But I think it's time to... to give it... to give it back. Oh, I think you've been giving it back more than anybody else for years, Lolo. Ever since I met you, you've been giving it back. Yeah, if you if you if you look at some of our kids, four to five years old, with amazing talents, you know, I, I figure it out. By the time they fight for title, I'll be in my rocking chair. <laughs> So I start training Lolo and them to be coaches. <laughs> 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 <laughs>